Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. There's also a command we can use to not only configure our existing subscriptions, but create new subscriptions or delete subscriptions all from the command line if we like, or even a batch file or script. So I'm going to go to the start menu, type in CMD. Just right click on our command prompt, click run as administrator, because we do need to run it as administrator. Click yes to the UAC prompt. And the command is WECUTIL. And I'll just hit enter, and this is going to show us everything it can do. You can see it can list existing subscriptions, get subscription configurations, get subscription runtime status, set subscription configurations, create new subscriptions, delete subscriptions, retry subscriptions, and also configure Windows Event Collector Service. And we actually did that in a previous movie. So let's first go ahead and list out our existing subscriptions. So I'm going to type in WEC util a space ES. Hit enter, and there it is. We've only got one My App Issues. Let's go ahead and get the subscription configuration. So that's going to be the GS option here. So WEC util space GS and then the space, the name of the subscription. So my app issues, hit enter. And here it is. You can see all the configuration options. Delivery mode is pull. Delivery max latency time is 900,000. This is in milliseconds, so that's 15 minutes. Same with the heartbeat interval. You can see the transport name, transport port. Also, our event sources down here, which are our source computers, desktop 101 and 102. Now, let's say we want to change a value. Uh, let's say the heartbeat interval. That's how often it checks for new events. Let's say 15 minutes is too long. We want to drop it down to 5 minutes. Well, we can do that with this command. But first, we need to change the configuration mode to custom before we go ahead and change some values. So I'm going to type in WEC util space. SS a space the name of our subscription so my app issues a space slash CM a colon and then the value and that we're going to change it to custom and I get the CM from the capital letters in the particular configuration so configuration mode capital C capital M here custom I'll go ahead and hit enter and that's changed so now let's go ahead and get the settings here. We can see that it's been changed. Configuration mode is now custom. So now we can change the heartbeat interval. And instead of CM, it's going to be HI. So I'll go ahead and type in WEC util space SS. I'm going to set the configuration space my app issues another space slash hi colon and let's change this to 300,000 for five minutes hit enter and let's go ahead and get our settings again and we can see that's changed so that's just one example of how to configure your subscriptions with this command again it can do a lot it can delete these subscriptions uh, you know it can add you can create new subscriptions and normally you do that because you wanted to do it with a script or a batch file